Let's extend my sadness. Well, hey guys, here uh, today got a happy box. 22, 23 upper deck extended series hockey featuring eight cards pack, 24 packs per box. In any given box, we should be expecting two numbered and or rare ratioed cards, six young guns slash first round rookies, four UD canvas, four 708 ooh, upper deck retro inserts, including a young guns that are 124, two 607 black diamond retro cards, a base French, one clear dominance or smooth grooves PETG insert, and then one of each of some retro inserts and a dazzler's blue. But before we get an extended, this video is sponsored by GP Sports Cards. Looking for unique approach hockey box breaks? Check out gpsportscards.com. With extended series being out, GP has breaks available with multiple team random and team select options to be had. And be sure to grab an early bird special while you can. On top of that, during the 3 p.m. live stream, that'll be all day. GP will have other breaks available, including a team select for stature, team select for trilogy, hit select for artifacts, hit select for SBA. So be sure to check out the website, check all the available options, hop in the live stream, and thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. So 22-23 Extended Series, is this product really necessary? That's the big question. It's essentially Upper Deck Series 3, stretching the flagship set from 500 to 750 cards, including 30 new young guns. And these new first round rookies, which are one and four, there's 20 of those. Look at the odds here, they combine for one and four. It's kind of weird. You would think that there'd be like one and eight for each and you get three of each, but we'll see how they're dispersed. We'll see if we get more of one or the other, but yeah, let's talk about the young guns for 22-23 Extended Series. Might as well show the top five now. Here is the top five young guns for 22-23 Extended. I spent a lot more time than I thought. Trying to figure out the top guys in here. One and two are very clear cut. I saw you with Marchenko over Berggren. Even though they're both very exciting players and you can both justify them being number one. Yusuf Parson is fascinating. Former seventh round pick. Big forward there. Got 25 points in 45 games. Ratu had first overall upset at one point a few years back. Now he's in Vancouver. He's intriguing. And I picked John Luke Foodie for fifth. I picked him over Frederick Olasson, his teammate there. As they're the same age and Foodie's an HL All-Star and showing a lot more. But regardless, here's the remainder of the crop. A lot of unspectacular depth players. Some interesting stories in there for sure, but a lot of these guys don't really need young guns. Essentially, you could probably condense this list down to 12 and put an SBA, 12 to 16, honestly. Have an update young guns SBA and really bolster SBA. But we have extended series, which is essentially young guns and a bunch of retro filler cards. <laughs> now, there's also canvas. There are 30 canvas young guns. One interesting thing for the canvas. Last year, they had the mascots. This year, there's all-star weekend canvas. I actually haven't seen any of those yet, but there's 15 of those, so keep an eye out for those. The 708 retros do intrigue me. I have a soft spot for 0708, but should be getting young guns in there and three base, I would assume. Other than that, it's a bunch of just random retro cards. A lot of basketball inspired retros in here, but those don't really intrigue me. We have to check out 22, 23 extended series. Before I continue on, this box cost $140. Aggressively comical. This is gonna be like half or less. It's gonna be like $60 Canadian box in a year's time. I almost guarantee it. There's no chance this is gonna hold value. But yeah, let's get into extended series here, 22, 23. And check it out. I mean, I am intrigued. Okay, extended, very green, like a darkish green there. You got Suzuki on there. Anymore in the sea, there's the packs. I don't think there's any jersey cards in here. I know there's like emerald autograph from black diamond in here i think that's your only autograph content here of course there's gonna be like miscellaneous easter eggs to look out for in here but yeah let's check out extended series just got one box this far but here is the base there's cam talbot there you go there's gonna be cards for like 501 to 700 there's 598 so it's all updated this could just be an sba but there you go there's cam talbot on the sends there there's ryan strom on the ducks there's gonna be all-star cards as well i'm pretty sure there but there's kadri on the flames johnny goudreau all-star so here's one of these first round draft cards it's got like the old school over there very similar to the base we got dylan gunther I don't even think that's a draft card. I think that's just like a hockey DB portrait shot they do before the season. But there's Dylan Gunther. It wouldn't say 21 because he was a 2021 draft pick, but it has number eight on there. So there's Dylan Gunther, Bjorkstrand, Aston Reese, and Troy Terry All Star. Okay. Next up here, three boss All Star. That's cool. There's a Petrangelo All Star. Oh, we got Dallas Pink, which I'm pretty sure one in 144. David Riddick on Winnipeg. So it's Grace on the Blues. There's Ollie Lixell. Dazzler's Pink. So there's a Pink Dazzler. So I do like the Dazzler's there. Monahan on Montreal. Ilian Bakayev on Vancouver. So all these are updated Mason shot subway sandwiches jersey there I mean intriguing checklist there's Evgeny Svechikov on San Jose there Jack Campbell so a bunch of players in new locations there including Colin Blackwell in Chicago Joe Dobson UD Canvas so there's the first canvas there's not too many different canvas young guns and the 30 main young guns I know Jack McBain Jordan Harris are the ones I can think of top of my head that have canvas young guns in here that don't have the main young guns they have young guns in previous series series one or two but Hala Martinook Timothy Liljegren and Zach Cassian actually 22 23 pictures because it says milk on the side there so there's that next pack up here matthias samuelson alex to it all-star tom wilson all-star and oh tyler tucker canvas young guns there's tucker he fits into the unspectacular defenseman there he's still relatively young but he played like 26 games i believe for the blues there but there we go get a canvas young guns 148 packs and oh my <laughs> it's destroyed and this feels really flimsy this doesn't even feel like a card i'm not trying to defecate on this product but what is that okay well there's like a psa 2 tyler tucker canvas young guns there's a craft soft schultz maybe a two might get a one justin schultz justin braun 
on. Brian Murray can't stay healthy, but there's a picture of him actually playing hockey, which is surprising. All right, next pack up here, Hedman All-Star. There's Matt Murray, Kubalik, Johnson Fialbi there. Oh, Slavkoski, first round draft. Obviously, these aren't going to go for anywhere near the young guns. Likely won't have comps for any of these as it's release day. This practice came out, but there's a Slavkoski first round card there. Okay, this set's just all filler. Dehan, Jason Zucker, and Gabe Lardy. Like, it's unnecessary. I understand it. They're essentially just copying tops, capitalizing on the very popular flagship series that makes them a lot of money for Series 1 and Series 2. There's Strawman. There's a checklist. Tadri Goudreau there. 601 to 700. Jack Hughes All-Star. And there you go. Martin Nietzsche is 708. I have a very soft spot for 708, but there you go. There's a Martin Nietzsche 708 retro there. There's Scott Wedgwood on Dallas. There's a Keller All-Star. Derek Ryan. Connor McDavid All-Star. That's cool. Next pack up here. There's Brady Kachuk. Patrice Bergeron. Parisi. And Brady Schneider. First round. Do we actually have a proper Young Guns yet? I don't think we do, but there's a Brady Schneider first round player there. Okay. There's Matthew Kachuk. Marino. Nico Sturm. Joe Valeno. I'm hoping we get at least three regular Young Guns, right? Oh, we got 607 here. Oh, one power. Rookie Gems. Triple Diamond. You know, he should probably be a quad, but oh my gosh. Oh, we got a PSA 6 here. Look at that centering there. Wow. I'm not trying to defecate on this. Oh my gosh. I could be going in way hotter on this product, but there you go. Owen Power Rookie Jam. Just unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Chuck need a rider. But let's continue on here. It looks like we got one of these things. So this is a 97 Collector's Choice commemorative set. You can combine three of them to make a card there. But there you go. There's Austin Matthews there. There's the middle one, I would assume. Yeah, there you go. There's all three. Nick Suzuki. Gustafson. Romanoff. Next pack up. Cash grab. We got... Oh Smooth Grooves. Uh, this is a less common one. There's one that's one in 120 packs, but this one's one in 30, I believe. Austin Matthews. PETG card's not actually clear cut, but feels the same there. But there you go. Smooth Grooves. Matthews. And we got Ben Hutton. Tristan Jari All Star. Vinny Trocek. Diddy. And the Habs there. You know, got traded out. Okay, next pack up here. John Gibson. Saros. Palat. Oh, Carter Hart, who might get traded. See what happens. That big Provorov trade. Cal Pearson's in Philly now, so it looks like Hart's likely going to get traded. Love his gear there, but see what happens with him. There's Aho All Star. Wallstrom. Phil the Thrill on Vegas there. Why are they scratching him? At least he'll get another ring of Vegas wins. And Mrazic. Okay, next up here, we got Kreider All-Star, Troy Stetcher, Sam Steele. Do we finally have a Young Guns? We finally have a Young Guns. Logo encounter and ah, Marcus Bjork. Young Guns. So Bjork. Unspectacular defenseman, I would say there. He did play a fair bit up with the team. Put up some points. Then again, largely unspectacular there. There's a Marcus Bjork Young Guns. Not great. Mata, Carpenter, Felino. I'm not sure how this product has any justification being over like 100 bucks at all, but I kind of feel dumb buying it at this price. But Petrie, Kai Kairou, Klingberg. Oh, here we go. Holographics, Yoder Kachetkov. Kind of cool there. Good Branson, Giroux, Dakota Joshua, and Brent Burns. Next up here, we got Darcy Camper. There's Giroux, Yarl Halak, Matheson, Kempe Canvas, Athanasiu, Debrinkit, and Kulikov. Okay, maybe we'll get our two other young guns on the top here, but... <laughs> Dirty boss. Retro there, 708. Still need retro young guns. That could be good. There's Pavelski, All-Star, Vanacek, Gensel, Josh Brown. Aggressively not good. Oh. Aggressively not good here, but we continue on. JT Miller, 607 Black Diamond, single diamond there. Mackenzie Weger, Demko, Lauren Gustafson, still in Washington. Okay, Adam Pellick. This won't have like post trade deadline updates, but there's Goudreau and Columbus there. Evan Rodriguez, Goligoski, Artemi Panarin, Dazzler. So we got Dazzler there. There's Philip Gustafson, Josh Manson, Jan Ruda. Okay, then we got Maxime Comtois, Brandstrom, Colin Sissons, and here's our French, Nils Lundqvist. So that's updated there. Him on Dallas, Nils Lundqvist, French, Cal Connor, Frankie Vetrano, Darlene, and Mark Stone. Okay, looks like we got something in here. Oh, we got 708 Young Guns. And it's the Buffalo Sabres. So there's Ilya Samsonov, the Leafs there, Stamkos All Star. So hopefully it's Owen Power. The door off. Who else could it be? Mason Marchman. And yeah, there you go. Owen Power. 708 Young Guns. The retro there. So I like that. The foil is a little bit different there. Maybe it's based off of Series 2 there. But there you go. Owen Power Retro Young Guns. Nice one there. Love the 708 design. One of my all time favorites right there. So there's that. There's Forsling, Wrensky All Star, and Cogliano. And you got some nice Owen Power polls at least but at large been unspectacular there's protus laurier and mac hollowell young gun so johansson geeky labushkin there's hollowell defenseman on the smaller side good ofd actually looked pretty good in his stint with the leaves there doesn't have big time upside but he's a good depth defenseman i would say there's mac hollowell young guns there that's a cool card i'll take that got the reverse retro even though they didn't wear that a whole lot there's philip grubauer and the adults reverse retro there there's josh mahura oh we got something interesting here oh looks like we got uh these cards here yeah so there's spx i think this is 98 99 based off of basketball i'm pretty sure there but adrian campe that's number to 250 17 of 250 we got jake lucini young guns there's lucini good story there we got like 11 games he got a goal there he's 28 years old so a lot of these players in here are just depth guys so there's jake lucini and we got more base including georgiev on colorado and simone Benoit. that mighty ducks reverse retro okay three packs left here there's travis Dermott on vancouver there that's interesting yeah oh patrick king i already forget what these are called but these are also a basketball retro card there history class that's it kind of cool 
little insert there. They're just rehashing designs from 25 years ago, though. But there you go. Patrick Gain, history class. Broussard, Nita Ryder, Colin Miller, Patrick Nemeth. This is probably the laziest set Upper Deck puts out. So unnecessary, but there's Freddie Anderson. What do we have in this pack here? Zetterland. Oh, another one of these. Andre Kuzmenko. Is that low number? The decent. No, it's not numbered there, but there you go. There's an SBX there. Okay, Kuzmenko. And more base. And a final pack. Extended series. Here we get in here. Do we have anything? Oh, we got a canvas. Oh, Horvat still in Vancouver. UD canvas to finish things off. There is that. Okay. Now, guys, there's a hobby box. 22, 23 extended series. As expected, looks like we got three young guns and three first rounders. We got Holloway, Lucini, Bjork. And the first rounders, we got Schneider, Slavkowski, and Gunther. We got a PSA 2 Tyler Tucker canvas young guns. We got the Power 708 young guns there. So, an aggressively off center rookie jam. This Matthews card there. So, all in all, I would aggressively avoid this until it's a reasonable price. The first two years of extended, you can get boxes for a fraction of the cost. I anticipate this will be a dirt cheap product in only a few months' time. Aggressively do not recommend this product. So, there's a. I guess they took more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.